All right, guys, so it is 3.39 in the morning, Sunday, April 4th, and today I'm gonna try to go for my first striped bass of the season. Um, high tide is in like two hours, maybe a little more than two hours, so we're gonna fish around this back bay that I'm checking out. Hopefully we can find something back here. I think I'm gonna go with my lighter tackle. I'm probably gonna just use my seven foot mojo inshore rod. We'll just go with the lighter tackle, see what happens. And um, I'll go over more of my gear once I get out there on the water, but stay tuned, let me go get to my first spot. All right guys, so I just made it to my first spot. So now the only problem is in the dark like this, as you can see, there's like no video. So um, I'm gonna have the camera rolling, but but I'm not gonna turn my headlamp on until I actually like catch a fish because I just don't wanna have my light flash and blowing up my spot too. So yeah, I'm gonna get the fishing right away. Hopefully we find something over here. I'm just gonna wade out into the water a little bit just to get a little bit extra distance out there. There's a fish. my light on first striper of the season hit at the hefty jerk bait to get him in tons of fun on this inshore rod light tackle way to go We got him. It's right here. Easy, easy. Ooh, yeah. First striper of the season. Hefty jerk bait. Got it done. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice size one. I'll take that for the first fish of the season. Get a nice release on her. Nice, there she goes. Yeah, let's try to get some more now. All right, guys, so it is exactly one week from what you just watched when I caught my first striper. It's the following weekend, I'm getting back out here on the back bay. I'm gonna try more stripers today. We had some warm weather all week, so I'm kind of hoping that the fish are gonna be more active today. I've been seeing a ton of posts on social media. It looks like guys have been catching a lot, so maybe the fish are getting more active now that it's warming up, but the only thing is, See, I gotta wear my stormer today because it is raining out. Kinda light rain right now, but it is supposed to pick up more, so might have to keep the camera facing down today just so I don't get the lens all wet. That being said, I just wanna show you guys real quick. So Matt over at Hefty Fishing, he sent me some cool gear. He sent me some Hefty Swimmers, some different colors to try. Sent me what I was using last week, this jerk bait. Caught my first striper on this. Got another jerk bait I might throw out there. This is oops, this is just the normal white glow color. But these hefty lures, man, they're they're the real deal. There's some awesome products. Definitely check them out if you're looking to get some new gear, you know, this spring. Definitely give hefty fishing a try. 
I'll link his YouTube page, his Instagram, his website, everything down below if you guys are interested and want to check out his products. All right, so yeah, let me get ready. Let's get hit the water and let's start fishing right away. All right, guys, so I just made it down to my first spot. So I'm going to start out with this hefty jerk bait right away, the one I was using last week. We'll see if we get any bites on this and then... You know, maybe after like a half hour of fishing, we'll try the hefty swimmer out. Water is real high right now. I got here like just at the top of the tide. I'm gonna try to wade out a little bit, but this water is super high. I can't really go too far. But it is raining right now. It's kind of picking up, getting stronger. Sorry that I gotta have the camera facing down, but it is what it is. Hopefully I can still catch some fish for you guys and make this video at least somewhat pretty cool. Going with my 7 foot Mojo Inshore today. Trying to keep the light tackle going. Love using light tackle early on in the season like this. Got my 4000 Shimano Nasky. 15 pound test braid and a 20 pound test leader. Check this out as I was moving around different spots. I see a dead bunker there, but this looks like some striper guts. Looks like the jaw of a striper right there. Kind of a small fish too. Yeah, look at there's another one up here. Oh yeah, a lot of scales. This looked like someone maybe cut this fish up probably last night or this morning. Yeah, there's a lot of scales and guts here. I don't know why these people are doing it. It's not even April 15th yet. Ain't supposed to be harvesting any striped bass yet. Where's DEC when you need them? All right, guys, so I just made a lure swap. We're gonna try out the Hefty Swimmer now. I got it on a three quarter ounce VMC jig head. This should be good weight. I usually fish a three quarter ounce jig head in this like area, so I think we'll be pretty good with this. Let's see if we get bit. All right, guys, so it is 9.05. It's Wednesday, April 14th. Normally, I would not go fishing on a weeknight, just starting to go out after 9, but since it's supposed to rain tomorrow, I have the day off, so of course, we're going out, and we're going to try to get some stripers tonight. So it's been probably like almost two weeks now since I caught my first striper, so I definitely got that itch. I got to get out there and catch something tonight, and I feel like tonight's going to be the night. Perfect conditions tonight. High tide's going to be in the middle of the night, like around, I think it's 145. So, you know, it's a little early right now, but by the time I get to the water, get ready, tide should be coming in, should be all good to go fishing. So stay tuned, guys. I'm heading to the water now. All right, guys, so I just made it over to the water. Tide is still really low. So I'm checking out this back bay spot again where I caught my first striper. I'm also using the same hefty jerk bait that I caught my first striper with, and, and I'm going with the light tackle today. So if we do get into some fish, it's gonna be fun. Fish on. 
Yeah. Feels like a schoolie. Oh, he just popped. Darn it. Oh, that's what happens when you run crushed barbs. Finally hooked up. I'll get my light on as we get them in. It's a little schooly. There is oh. <laughs> there he goes. Just dropped him in by accident. Quick release. The hefty white jerk bait. Got him. Oh, there we go. I was kind of working that like a freshwater jerk bait. Nice little schoolie. See you later. All right, guys, so it is one thirty-five in the morning about 10 minutes before top of the tide. I'm finally able to like talk right now because most of the people around me left. It got pretty crowded before on that incoming. So like, I just really wasn't trying to talk. Didn't want to really turn my light on. That's why I used this red light when I caught those fish. But I'm gonna try a little bit more. It seems like the bite's starting to really slow up. But all right, yeah, so let's, let's do a little bit more fishing and then I'm gonna call it. All right, guys, finally decided to call it. Just got back to my car now. Didn't get any other bites. Tried for like maybe a half hour more, but it seemed like once we got to high tide, the bite just really turned off. It seemed like that incoming tide, there was like a window for like one hour where that was the only time I was getting bites. A few of the guys around near me, they caught as well, but I just didn't get numbers tonight. I only caught a few. But hey, at least we caught, we got our first couple stripers of the season, which was pretty cool. And I got to do it on my light tackle, seven foot mojo inshore. So that was a lot of fun. And I also got to try out some new lures, these hefty fishing lures. And they worked for me out there. So that was pretty cool. So like I said, there wasn't a lot of fish caught in this video, I know. But this is only the start of the season. 
it's only going to get better from here so definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't drop me a comment down below give me a thumbs up and stay tuned to the next one thanks for watching